Hello, this video is about how to use determinants, or usually finding you know, whether vectors are linearly dependent or that much, basically finding a determinant that's equal to zero and solving that algebraically. So here to give a good example is this. If we have ax plus 2y plus 3z equals zero, 2x plus ay plus 1 plus az equals zero, and x plus 2ay plus 2 plus a, lots of z, equals 0. Now then, this might look quite fiendish, and to be fair looking at it, it does look quite fiendish, but there is a very simple way of doing it that will make your lives very, very easy. Now, as you can see here, every equation is equal to 0. That means they're lin linearly dependent on each other, and that also means we can solve it using a matrix. Now, if we simply just took the coefficients of x, y, and z and wrote it and wrote it in a matrix, write it in a matrix, wrote it, right, a two one two a two a three one plus a two plus a, and we made that equal to zero. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how on earth would I solve that? And it's very, very simple. We would solve that using determinants and using the 3 by 3 determinant to for example so as you can see we can do this a lots of a 1 plus a 2a 2 plus a minus 2 lots of 2 1 plus a 1 2 plus a plus 3 lots of a would help if I could write, 1 plus a, 2a, sorry, I've, re I've written the last bracket wrong, my apologies, that should be 3 lots of, I'll just write plus 3 down here, 3 lots of 2a, 1, 2a. Now you've got to remember when doing 3 by 3 determinants that it goes plus, minus, plus, and also if you block out the row and column, for example if I'm looking at that a there, I block out that row and column, it is the determinant of that times a. With that one, it's the, this is going to get quite awkward, but we're going to do it anyway. It's two lots of the determinant of that, or three lots of the determinant of that. So to expand outwards, we have a lots of a squared plus 2a minus 2a minus 2a squared minus 2 lots of 4 plus 2a minus 1 minus a plus 3 lots of 4a minus a. Then we can simplify this even further, making sure that you equal it to 0 every single time. That's always important. We keep going. Then we'll have a lots of minus a squared minus 2 lots of 3 plus a plus 3 lots of 3a which gives us, if we cancel that even further, minus a squared minus 6 minus 2a plus 9a. I usually cancel it one stage at a time. If you're really good, obviously, then cancel it by more than one stage, but it's a good way of checking that you haven't made a mistake, because the chances are if you've made a mistake in this part of the question, it will go and affect other parts of the question, and then your life gets really, really miserable very quickly. So a cubed minus 7a plus 6 equals to 0. Now some of you are probably wondering, how on earth do we do that? Now, do you remember those factors that we used to do in, F in Core 1, where you had x plus 2 and you subbed it in and found whether it was a factor or not? Now, that is what you do here. Now for the purposes of this, I'm already going to tell you a factor, I'm going to give you that a is equal to 2. Therefore, what we can do is do divide this all by a minus 2. a cubed, remember to plus 0 a squared, because there's no a squared term, minus 7a plus 6. So a cubed minus 2a squared minus the whole lot, so that's 2a squared minus 7a, 2a squared minus 4a, again minus, so that's minus 3a plus 6, minus 3a plus 6. And as you can see, it goes nicely. And that gives you the, and that gives you the uh, quadratic a squared plus 2a minus 3. Now, what we have now is a minus 2, a squared plus 2a minus 3. 
and a plus a squared plus 2a minus 3 can obviously be solved again, put it into factorised form as a minus 2 a plus 3a minus 1. Therefore your values of a are 2, minus 3 and 1. Now the chances are if you have a question like this there will be a second part normally which says solve the equations when a is equal to 3 for example and you can usually do that by cancelling out one of the variables. I usually pick the one that has two the same so if you've got two that are y then that would be a good idea to do it like that. Anyway thank you for watching I'll see you next time.